today's walk and talk comes to you from my snowy hometown of well Croydon but it's kind of the Addington part of Croydon and I thought let's go out and check out the snowfall and also let's check out a new piece of gear that I acquired which is my 360 degree camera The snow actually seems thicker than I expected. Slushy in the road, but that lovely sound when you walk on fresh snow and it compacts down. Always love that. It changes after the first night when it freezes over typically. So this 360 degree camera well, the clue is in the title really, so it's an Insta360 X3 and it enables me to film all around in a sphere as I'm, well, as I'm walking in this case, but you can do all sorts of other fancy things. So one of the cool things you can do, just walking along, is create a shot like this. Which is nice. And what I like about it as a filmmaker and a video editor is that it does all the capturing up front. And then it's down to me when I sit down and edit it. What angle I want, what I want to choose to use. So I'm walking along now. You can look at me. Hello. You can look straight ahead of me. You can look left. And you can look right. That would have been four takes before doing the same kind of thing. So it looks like a good job was done clearing the roads, assuming they did that overnight. This is a heavier used pavement here, so it's a bit more compacted. But it's a really lovely scene leading up to Christmas. And for those of you not based in the UK, wondering why we get all weird about snowfall is because we're not really prepared for it and we don't really see it that often so we try and enjoy it when we do but invariably it causes travel chaos yesterday airports were closed flights suspended and so on i'm assuming they've done the clearance now because we really only had one main snowfall and uh it didn't really well, it's, it's given us what we see. But it could have been a lot worse. There's always that consideration. So winter walking is something I thoroughly enjoy. Winter walking and talking. So I plan to do more of this. Can't always guarantee snow. But... I hope that uh, we'll be able to enjoy what winter offers in terms of the most beautiful light that you can get sometimes. And uh, stay tuned, stay subscribed to my channel to see what I can come up with. But yeah, very nice scene. It's, it's a shame it's a bit gloomy. There was no reference to any sunshine in the weather forecast maybe a bit of mist and fog and it just makes it all look a bit black and white there's no real color to the sky leaden what it does do though is 
and then taking it careful around the corner. What it does do, as well as brightening everything up, which is always welcome this time of year, it also applies a little bit of deadening, a little bit of softening to the overall sound. Well, I have a lav mic on to pick up my vocals and despite making references earlier to that compacted sound, I'm not sure if the mic would pick it up that clearly, but you know what the sound is anyway. You don't need me to tell you if you've experienced it. Yeah, beautiful winter scene here. So this is the roundabout at the uh, base of Gravel Hill, junction of Gravel Hill, Sales and Park Road and Kent Gateway. I have featured this area on uh, my videos in the past. You probably feel you know it, even if you're not from the area. If you've had a good browse around my portfolio, the collection, playlists, whatever you would like to call them. So, winter walks. Um, you tell me, folks. Uh, I've got lots of kind of memories and things that I can always talk, uh, ask my wife. Um, but it's really, you know, I kind of want to take you along with me and experience it as well. So is how I can present that best to you. So maybe we'll just give it a go. Opportunities present themselves. I'll, uh, I'll get out there. And in some cases, I'll be revisiting some haunts. Nothing. Oh, tram coming now. Colours stand out nicely against this um, monochrome. It's a bit of colour against that. I don't know if I'm going to be battling uh, the sounds of the vehicles here. There's a bit of a gap coming up. I would sometimes walk up a hill as part of this walk. I'll, I'll have a quick look. I'll tread extra careful here. <laughs> All right, cheers, thank you. Look left as the bus comes, but I can beat him. I'm not going to run to try and cross the road because that will invite all sorts of slippage. Ooh, bonus. <clears throat> Addington stones that still mystify me. There was a building there once. I'll link to the video above. There was a building there once. Absolutely guarantee it. Home farm or something. Can't remember immediately off the top of my head. Why do you keep the stones? Why do you take the whole building down, lay it to lawn, plant a few trees, and leave the stones? One day we'll get to the bottom of it, because even reading some archeological reports, I, I couldn't throw much light on it. I've uh, ventilated a bit here. Well done to those pavement clearers. I think pavement clearing is an all or nothing. Hard to do if it's been compacted and then freezes. 
but really go as far as you can putting the effort in and if you've got an Apple watch put it down as a workout or other fitness device uh, and then put some salt and grit or mix down because that will clear it completely otherwise uh, the following day it will just be treacherous assuming a freeze overnight which it normally does because it gets colder temperature values today were well, it's minus one when I last checked the high today will be one this is all Celsius and the low will be minus one but yesterday morning when we were out it was about minus four minus five so and this is folks five months after it was 40 odd 42 uh, see another video I did link above to the Addington Hills fire site because there's quite a bad sort of uh, wildfire there nice scene there St Mary's Church my mum and dad got married in 1957 I think I will have a wander around the corner go past the cottages quick towards the forge and uh, see if it's even worth attempting a climb I'm, I'm not expecting I will there's a house on the corner the old post office and used to serve teas and things many years ago church doors ajar and then the old cottage is here 1796 as it says in the brickwork as covered in my Addington Village Heritage Walk link here now I think I may go so far then just cross over and walk down and just pop and see the forge it's been there for 300 years oh something out of the back of your van mate I mean it's probably okay I do find though with the leaves sometimes it's slippery anyway when I go up there my walk good uh, drive clearance done then so yeah crossover as I was saying with the leaves it's slippery anyway it's been very much leaf fall season here so if those leaves are then going to slip underneath snow ice and so on it's just not worth it The risk outweighs any minor benefit. Whoops, first slip of the day. EJ Collins and Sons Forge. I mean, this road. Whew. Most modern cars can handle it quite well. Older vehicles, perhaps less so if you are out and about take good care of yourselves enjoying these winter scenes still very hard to get an unspoilt view even when I looked out in the garden this morning the foxes and badgers and things have been scurrying around so it is what it is but it is still very nice and the good thing is it's not so deep that it's hard work just putting one foot in front of the other it's actually uh, quite uh, quite reasonable quite a good speed to get along so there we go Addington 1743 Cricket Club no play today England won the second test in Pakistan earlier that's the only cricket you're going to see what's on TV Lovely old church. It's the uh, cricketers and harvester with the war memorial there in the foreground. Now, 
in the general car park area there somewhere during World War II there was a little workshop very small operation albeit 24 hours with lays and the like people working night shifts and day shifts obviously and they made components, little metal components that went somewhere towards the war effort we're not quite sure where but the son of the father who ran the operation was telling me this story when we met up in the summer I believe looking at old maps it was sort of to the left where there's that kind of harvest oats, wheat, whatever, wheat isn't it? yeah, anyway the symbol, harvester symbol with harvester behind it, that kind of alignment that's the front of the building which has stood there for a number of years and we've got Addington Park and all its connections to Archbishops of Canterbury, Henry VIII, Anne Boleyn many other stories and tales subterranean passage as well apparently all covered in previous videos Addington Police Station now this pathway is not too bad so it's either been slightly sheltered from the trees or someone's cleared it I'm going with the former it's weird when you've been walking on snow and then you walk on hard ground a bit like when you walk on either pebbles or sand on the beach and you suddenly hit that solid surface or is it just me? I just talk about my experiences folks in my many years on this planet hopefully there's some out there say oh yeah if not sorry for being a slight weirdo just being me just being me this road uh, I kind of illustrate clearly when we get up there but it used to pass by the cricketers and the church area where we just came from but at the time they did whatever they did to where the mysterious stones are they would have uh, cut the road off here in favour of the dual carriageway approach that we see today I'm guessing 60s, 70s much was done in Croydon in that time discovered a document the other day all about that some 1960 plan when they were going to trash everything and did got rid of the original old town apart from the bit that you can see in one of my other videos link above this isn't an advert, I've said this, it's not an advert for my channel but once you land on my channel I hope there's lots of other things you can see just hop around and enjoy it and maybe learn a bit about the local history these cars do seem a bit loud hopefully they're not too bad And one other thing to mention is lampposts and trees. They bow a bit when I'm walking past them. Uh, it's a feature of shooting with a 360 degree camera. That's what happens sometimes. It's just the way the camera processes the image. I can assure you that such items are still upright or whatever angle they were meant to be in the first place. It's more obvious in some places than others. Approaching one of the uh, lodge houses. I like lodge houses. That was here from when this was the uh, the grand estate in the area. Oh dear! Oh, that was an ambulance. Oh, very dry here because we still actually got a lot of leaves on the trees. Um, I was just noticing that the other day that the leaves have clung on possibly because, well, 
I'm sure it's because of the weather conditions we've had. And only in the last few days when it's been colder and frostier do you see them uh, falling down. What did I duck then? I'm always going to clear it. No one at all recently improved the swings and play area. The council got some budget, which is quite a feat in these troubled financial times that we're in, in Croydon. Trams always run reliably in the cold weather because we've had much worse conditions than this over the years. And they managed to keep the service running really well. So it's a, a good advantage to have that on the doorstep. Now this uh, BP garage with an M&S store in included has been closed for two to three weeks for renovations. Whoops, nearly got run over. Um, there are signs that they're getting towards the end, although from what I can see it's very cosmetic. And I hope people don't see that as the price. Because obviously they're testing out the sign one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I'd take, even with my plug-in hybrid, I'd take it 123.4 per litre unleaded right now. Diesel drivers wouldn't uh, take 567 there. So yeah, I'd, might be some solar panels on the roof, may have been there already. I think all of that livery, is that what we call it? Uh, anyway, I'm going to call it that. That was put in, I think, just in the last week. It's more prominent m and food there now. But I think the footprint of the store is still the same. So I don't quite know what's going to be different. We will discover that. But just an odd time to do it, so close to Christmas. I'd have thought they'd have maximised that arm of m and selling stuff. Fast and loose with the red light situation. Right, not me, it was them. Um, heading back to the, uh, the manor. Now I've started on this side. I may well go over and have a look in the field if I see any uh, wildlife. I think this is almost the ideal surface right now compacted, not icy, not slippery at all. But it's always changing isn't it with foot traffic and the uh, temperature alterations. Let's have a wander over the other side. Well, hey, of course you can't see where the curb is. Now occasionally there are horses down here. But the guy I saw earlier clearing the road way, or clearing the entrance way, he may be uh, making sure the horses are somewhere warm. Yeah, I can just see whoops, in the corner of the field there, a little stable there. This probably won't pick it out very well. Oh, there's one out there. <laughs> Missed him. Or her. Got the coat on. Finding some food. Oh, and another one or two. Anyway, they're being looked after. That's the main thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed Phil's snowy walk and talk. And I do plan to do these winter walks again. So some of them will probably be just like this. But I have got some other subject matter that I'm researching at the moment uh, that I think will make better videos when there's no snow. So they will be filmed after that. So if you'd like to stay in touch, please subscribe. And also if you hit the little bell, you'll get a notification when my new videos go live. Also on my channel page, there's all other ways that you can contact me. So I do like to engage, I like to 
respond to the comments and have a little discussion. So feel free to do that. And until the next one, I'll see you later.